What's happening guys? It's Wrestling Talk. I'm Classic Chris. Today's episode, I'm posting a question. Is TNA in trouble? TNA has seen its ups and downs over the past few years, but right now, for the first time, I'm actually wondering, will TNA re-around this time next year? I'm a big TNA fan, and those who see me on BlitzSportsNetwork.com or on Bruce Blitz's YouTube channel, you know that already. It seems that every year, like, uh, there's an article out saying that TNA's shutting down, or TNA's in big trouble, and it... it and I wouldn't pay attention to those rumors because to me, those were rumors. But with what happened this weekend and everything that's been going on over the past few years, everything that's transpired, uh, I'm starting to worry now because, like, first I'm going to go into the, into the past, right? TNA lost many important their roster members. Like, I'm going to start off with Bad Influence, uh, Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels. I loved watching those guys. At one point, they were my favorite tag team going. Um... Another big loss, AJ Styles, a TNA original. He was the company's biggest star, and they couldn't keep him. AJ Styles goes to New Japan, puts on five-star matches, and helps put the company on the map even more, even though a lot of the world knew about New Japan. But having AJ Styles there, it just brought more eyes. It brought more attention to the product. And now look at him. He signed into the WWE. And there's a reason why WWE signed four of their top stars. New Japan is awesome. Uh, now talk about other TNA guys that left the company. Samoa Joe, another guy that helped put TNA on the map. Uh, his undefeated streak and then his feud with Kurt Angle was a masterpiece. Kurt Angle, quote-unquote, retires from TNA. Austin Aries, the greatest man who ever lived, is making his NXT debut at TakeOver Dallas. Ken Anderson gets fired. Awesome Kong gets released. And now... On to the biggest losses to the TNA roster. The hugest blows is losing Eric Young and Bobby Roode. Like, as everybody knows, I'm a big Eric Young and Bobby Roode fan. Um, that's just my shit. I love that stuff. How they work in the ring. These guys are so crisp. I can watch their matches all day long. Both men have been with TNA 12 years. And were major players in helping TNA stay alive, in my opinion. EY, he had an entertaining run as champion. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot because... EY always puts on good matches. His feud with Bobby Roode, legendary. Um, the matches that these two had against each other will go down in TNA history. It just seems that, like, there's a problem here because Roode and EY have done it all in TNA and have held every title. Uh, you can't ask for anything more out of these guys than what they've done for TNA. I watch TNA strictly for EY, Bobby Roode, The Decay, and according to Wrestling Zone, EY and Bobby Roode left over contract issues. And that's funny because it seems to be the story with a lot of these guys leaving. Like uh, AJ Styles, for example, couldn't get a good contract. Kazarian and Christopher Daniels couldn't get him under contract. Austin Aries, and so on. It, it, it's just mind-boggling that TNA would allow big stars leave like that. Um, the thing to me is that they are big parts of the show, and they're going to be hard to replace. Both men had great locker room presence and are liked by the roster. I personally met Bobby Roode and EY, and they're a class act. These guys were awesome. Um, it saddens me to see something I love fall apart. I'm going to continue to support TNA, but with this recent blow to the roster, could it be too much for them to overcome? I want to know, guys. Do you think TNA is in trouble? Do you think TNA is done? Or do you think TNA is going to go in a different direction and bounce back? Can TNA rebound from this? Leave a comment with your thoughts, like the video, subscribe, remember to keep watching Wrestling Talk with Classic Chris.